My name is Christopher Street. I live here in New York City, center of the universe. My parents didn't know they were naming me after one of the most infamous streets in New York's Greenwich Village. I know what you're thinking. What's the big deal? A lot of people share a name with the street somewhere. Well, does your street look like this? I didn't think so. I thought I took that key back. So, I guess you're here to pay rent.
serving face, nice round cake. Come on, baby, I love the hate. If you dare come step to me, make sure you bring more than three. Why the hell didn't Chris tell us that this was an outdoor club? He did. Well, at least the Africans made our fake IDs look good. Anyways, has anyone realized how sexy I am tonight? Which sugar daddy bought you those Prada shoes? His name is Corey Williams. in his 40s, but I swear he has that 20 year old swagger. We met at a movie and two to four months later I had been at breakfast. Wow, it took you that long to screw him. I thought you were supposed to be the Southern Bill. Anyways, he's my new Bobby Chulo. Yeah, until he goes bankrupt. <laughs> Wait till I tell Chris about this. He better not be late. Hmm. Hell, it's the opening of CeCe's new club. If he's smart, he wouldn't show up. Hey, I'm surprised you haven't screwed CeCe yet. How many clubs is he on again? <laughs> Anyways, where the fuck is Chris? Wow, I think my best friend finally actually took my advice about something. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Guess who I just saw? Malik. Condom? Condom? So who's Malik? He used to be the fifth closest friend. That is until one night we all went to a sex party. Don't be judgmental. Jeremy, have you seen Adam? Move, Chris. And I found him with my then boyfriend. Adam! Adam. Oh shit! You motherfucker! Wait! <laughs> that bitch. And you won't believe it. He has four friends that look just like us. You have to see this. Come on, they're over here. Oh, don't nobody look like me. Uh uh. Who is this? Where are they? He was near Bullshit, I told you. Look at no good for you. He's. How's this? Some oh. bullshit. Oh, child, what's so bullshit, right? I told y'all. He had a yoga. That bad bitch, Malik. I hate that. That child to smudge mold. Anyways, when was the last time we was all out together? Oh, not since Jeremy. Well, Jeremy and Tony have an Ike and Tina thing going. Ouch! I think that hurt. Actually, it was the night I whooped Jason's ass in the Vogue competition. Always wanted to fuck something. Don't bring that up. Always wanted to fuck something. I heard you the first time. My bad. I don't think before I speak. I'll be right back, you guys. I'm meeting a friend in the front. So what's been up since I left? Uh, Sean is dating an old man. He's dating an older man, Ashton. Since when is he not? Is it cute? We haven't met him yet. And personally, I don't have the intentions. These old men die as fast as they come. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have a drink. Cece, I miss you. I'm over it. This club is expensive. You bitches gotta buy drinks tonight. Don't give me that shit. Don't expect free drinks. My ex-girlfriend Amy's in town. I've been spending money on her all week. There is nothing sadder than some tired piece of fish trying to rekindle a relationship with a gay guy. Now, first of all, we're not rekindling anything. She just so happens to be visiting. And I'm bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't no. know that either. Once upon a time, I ate fish. Tasted like snot. The end. See, I'm really, really over it. So where's this French son wanting us to meet anyway? Oh my gay Buddha. What? Who the hell is that? Surprise, guys. <laughs> this is Corey. 
Corey Williams. What the hell are you doing? Melissa and this young boy. Mr. Investment Banker, what you need to do is invest in some drinks for everyone. I got a club to run. Talk to you later. I guess Buddha heard my first. Yeah! You're Jewish. You're Jewish. Oh. Who's that believing again? It's finally nice to meet you guys. I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. uh, um, listen, I'm going to use the bathroom. Okay, sweetie. All right, buy your friends some drinks, all right? Mm -hmm. He is so fine. His face is frozen. His eyes are far apart. He looks like he bought his lips from Angelina Jolie. Congratulations, Sean. You have yourself a tranny. Are you kidding me? He's so fine. Oh, I don't see it. Mm -mm. Mm. Well, you got, I gotta go. Tony's at home waiting up for me. Good night. I'll tell Corey you said bye. Don't. Please, don't. <laughs> <laughs> bye, y'all. Bye. Poor Jeremy. We all know that man is not a wait for him. His relationship is slowly falling apart. Well, it's his own dumbass's fault for staying with him after he got hit by him. Come on. As far as the weather goes, it is cool. Yes, Your Highness, you better be watching this morning. Uh, we got clear skies right now, cool temperatures. Uh, we've got a storm coming in, but it's not. But the clouds will be coming in soon enough, and the showers will too, but it won't be a lot of rain coming up for you, so don't worry about that. 50-year temperature out of LaGuardia right now. Jeremy? Jeremy? Wait, don't worry about it. Jeremy, what do you mean don't worry about it? Said, don't worry about it. Jeremy, hold up. Jeremy, hold up. I'm talking. You're not going to be talking to me like that. What do you mean don't worry about it? Then stop acting like I'm your little puppy. Don't slam my door like what that. What are you getting big with? I'm getting loud with you. I see what's going on here. You got three chest You think you're Mr. Big Man, huh? Is that what no. you No. I'm just tired of having you control Nobody's my Nobody's controlling you, Jeremy. You're not my motherfucking parent. <clears throat> Were you about to hit me? You were. About to hit me. <sighs> wow. You look like shit. <laughs> what do you want, Chris? Is Jeremy on? Yes. Well, damn, can I come in then? Tony! Who in the hell is at the door at 7 o'clock in the morning? It's me, Chris. I was wondering if I could talk to you for a minute. Is he okay? He's fine. You could have called. What the fuck, Albert? Chris, what's up? I just wanted to come out and make sure you were okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. Okay. Um, I was wondering if I could crash here tonight. I let. Sean and Corey bar my apartment. No, no, first of all, it's not night anymore. But some of us think it's okay to party to early hours of the morning, right? Whatever, smart ass, you know what I mean. I thought Corey was rich. Child, so did Sean. But that's he ain't got no money. Not a dime. No. Uh, you know, I got an idea. Why don't you go to Ashton's place? You know what, motherfucker? I'm getting a little tired of your mouth. I'm a fuck Would you, you do, up, please, just cool it? Okay. Chris, you can stay here. Here, take a pillow and you can sleep on the couch, okay? okay. Thank you. I'll see you in the bedroom. <sighs> popular. <laughs> You're gonna be popular. And with your hang with the right course, you'll be good at sports. The things you've got to know. So let's start, cause you got an awfully long way to go. The real friend about my fake analysis. Think of it as personality dialysis. Now that I told you, you become a fantasist. Good morning. Morning. Q 
few briefs. Party's gonna be off the easy. Wait. Hello? Who's this? Oh, uh, no. Actually, he's not. All right. Yep. Hey, Ashton, was the phone for me? What? The phone. Was it for me? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Uh, well, I'm expecting a call from a girl. We got a date later tonight. Go. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. What are those invitations for? I'm having a little dinner party with the guys. Are you serious? The same guys you always hang out with? Yeah. <laughs> You're putting invitations together for? Yes, I'm going to mail them out later. Why is everything such a big deal to you? Just call them. Whatever, I'm going to go take a shower real quick. Okay. Cool. Who is it? Ashton, it's your girlfriend. She's annoying the hell out of me. Hey. Pookie. Amy, listen, you just can't show up to my house like this. I came by to suggest that today we should go to Times Square. I want to go to the Wax Museum. Doesn't it sound like fun? Um, not really, because we've been there four times since you came. I mean, can't we do something else? You leave for school in two days, right? Ashton James, you want me to leave? Don't you miss your girlfriend? Amy, you're not my girlfriend. Damn, girl, you're here again? Yo, Ashton, you got a good fag hang. Fag what? Excuse me? He's just joking with you, baby. <laughs> Why don't we take the dog for a walk, huh? Uh, hey, Charlie, come on, buddy. Come on. Hey. Sitting here thinking about yesterday. Yeah. Day, day. Sitting here thinking about yesterday. Sitting here thinking about yesterday. I'm sending you! Tony! Go get the damn door! Ugh. I'm working on my song! Oh, oh fuck. Sitting here thinking about yesterday. No! Put on some jeans! Where Jimmy and Chris? Well, Chris is trying to get some sleep. Is it always as loud in your damn house, Tony? I have an idea. Why don't you try your home? Jeremy! The rest of Destiny's child's here. Hey, Beyonce, can I get you anything? How about you, Michelle? No. I don't want anything that your filthy hands touch. Who touch this? Uh -huh. And I'm Beyonce, bitch. Now, bitch, we ain't had that conversation. Well, what the hell happened to you? Jeremy, you stupid friends are here. Which one of my friends are here, Tony? The one who thinks he's Rihanna, but he's actually Michelle from your friend circle. His name is Sean. Tony, we've been friends for two years now. You should know his name. And why are you going through my things? What are you talking about? I know why you were mad last night. I was upset because you didn't come home this morning. No, you were mad because I found my letter curled up under your damn jeans. When you and I weren't together, did you fuck some kid named Hector? So you're just gonna avoid my question. And, um, for your information, I didn't sleep with anybody when we weren't together. Why are you act so girly? You sound like a fucking faggot, you know that? Did he just call him a faggot? Damn, bitch, your breath stink. That's horrible. No, straight up, I met you back in Memphis. I met this kid named Jay on the phone, and it was cool. Now I got me a little lady. 
You and your friends are like a bunch of schoolgirls, you know that? In the store, in the club, even on the fucking train. I'm not feeling it, Jeremy. I didn't sign up before a chick with a dick. So what? You gonna break up with me? No, bitch, cause then he ain't got nowhere to live. Chris! Would you please get away from the damn door? I'm just saying, a good trip to the dentist wouldn't be such a bad thing. A nice, good, deep cleanse. Bitch, you actually feel better. Okay, you know what? Talking all that shit in that damn room. Come call me a girl to my damn face. Uh, Sean, you're drawing a mole on your face as he calls you a girl? Come on, he's right. You and Jeremy are chicks with dicks. Me and Ashton, your son, we the only thugs. You and who? Girl, please. You don't know whether you're gonna wear pumps or tins, so you can save that life of Buddha, as Jeremy would say. Bitch, don't try to play me like that, because you know I can tell. Oh, something you, you know that? Keep looking at it. <sighs> you sure told him. Okay. So, Sean, what brings you beating down my door early this morning? No shopping sprees with Mr. What? Bitch, what the hell happened to you? I was having sex with Corey, and while we were doing it, Chris's little friend decides to pop out of nowhere. I had time to only rush and put on my clothes in dip set. You met Brandon? You named the mouse in your apartment? Oh, no. You have a mouse living with you? Ew! Child, please. Child, you need to get an exterminator for that. Hmm. And so where's Mr. Williams? And speaking of him, what to the other old man you dated? We are not going there. What was his name? You forgot his name, didn't you? Well, there's been so many. Bitch, you ain't slick. Hello, At hi. All. Hector, Hector, mm -hmm. Hector. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine you two heard everything. Yeah, bitch, we were there. Okay, so. Hector was my Latin fantasy. <laughs> I made him when me and Tony broke up. He was my imaginary lover. I was just so lonely. Latin <laughs> fantasy? Bitch, you crazy for real. You're 20 years old with an imaginary friend. How sad. I never felt such a connection like I do with you. It's more than physical, the spiritual between us two. Yeah. Look what you've done to me. It feels so crazy to be falling. My heart is calling out for your love. My heart is I'm just confused. Most boys are virgins because they don't have an attractive woman interested in them. You have that. Are you scared of having sex? <laughs> Why would I be scared of having sex? You know, Charlie. Yo, what's good, son? Oh, Lord. You with that fish? Yes, Christopher. I hope you got Benadryl. <laughs> I do, thanks. We're all going to the diner to eat. Bring Miss America by to meet us. No. Who was that? Uh, no one, really. Just uh, my best friend, Christopher Dwayne. His last name is Dwayne? Oh, no, actually, his, his middle name is Dwayne. His last name is Street. OK, his name is Christopher Street? Isn't that a gay street? I don't know. That's my boy's name. Poor guy has a gay name. Anyway, why did your roommate call me a fag hag? Was he trying to call <laughs> you gay? Oh, no, no, no. He, he knows I'm a virgin, so he's like always teasing me while calling me names and stuff. Like, little girl, gay boy, preacher man. How grown up. <laughs> Ashton, what do you think about me transferring to Columbia so we can be closer? No, Amy, just stay where you are. You know, Sean, you actually made Jeremy's clothes look good. My clothes are hot. Yes, but you just don't know how to wear them. Yeah, you make them look Classy. Forget y'all. So Chris, tell us about this Brandon character. He's sound white to me. What's his story? No one special. Just somebody I use for cash. You already know. So when are we going to meet this Brandon? <laughs> when Satan's a new coach of ice hockey team in hell. 
You are some of the nosiest little bitches. All up in his business. Ain't that the truth. And don't you be embarrassed about that little mouse situation. I mean, it's a known fact. People have rodents, roaches, homeless people all in their damn apartment. So don't swear that.